Welcome to Whiskey's a Journey. My name is Peter Fasciano, and in today's episode, this is my channel segment called Sip It or Skip It. I have all of my whiskeys randomized on my phone. I'm going to spin the wheel, whatever it selects, I'm going to pull it off the shelf, do a quick review, and let you guys know if I'm going to keep sipping on the bottle until the bottle's gone and replace it, or if I'm going to sip on the bottle until it's gone and skip buying it again, replace it with something else. So let's go ahead and spin the wheel and see what we're dealing with today. Let's go with this camera today. Gets me every time. I always get nervous uh, what's going on. Oh, Calumet 15. I'm not nervous about this one at all. So Calumet 15 is in that series with all the Calumets. I think I've done a first Friday flight fight with the 10, 14, 15, and 16. So let me grab it off the shelf, pour it, and we'll do a quick review. All right, here we go. Calumet 15. Now over the uh, Kentucky Derby, I was heading over to some of my friend's house and we did a flight of all the Calumets. And of all the Calumets that were there, I think it was agreed upon that the 15 was their favorite. On the nose, classic bourbon. I end up getting strong hints of cherry, subtle amount of oak, and then all of those traditional bourbon notes, the caramel, the brown sugar, the vanillas. Not that you can pick up a creamy note on the nose, but I do get a little bit of maybe a frothy vanilla from a like a cappuccino. And like always, I have to double check here. I think this is in the 100. So this is 105 proof, paid $100 for this. And if you're looking for a classic bourbon, this is definitely it. All right, let's get it on the palate. There are a lot of similarities with the 15 and the 16. The 16 comes across as much darker, much more oak. This is a much more subtle version of the 16. All of the notes that were on the nose are also coming through on the palate. There's a creaminess. It's not as oak sharp as the 16. It's coming across as a little bit more well-rounded than the 16. On first sip, I actually prefer this more than the 16, but you can never trust that first sip. So let's get that second sip down and see if I can pull anything else out of this. Right up front, you get the sweetness. I get hit with cherry, brown sugar, vanilla, caramel, slight amount of oak bitterness on the side of the tongue. The finish is oaky and it lingers quite a bit with a little bit of spice and the cherry fruitiness every once in a while will poke its head out. I would have to say the longer that this sits on my palate, I'm getting more of a well-rounded whiskey as opposed to the 14 and the 16. The finish I would say is medium to long. And that dominant note in the finish would be the oak. And then, like I had just mentioned, a little bit of that cherry flavor lingers around. And if you're looking for it over the oak, it'll, it'll be there a little bit. Let's get a third sip down, search for anything else that I can get, and then we'll let you guys know if it's going to be a sip or a skip. I think you guys might already know. Oak, sweetness, cherry, tannin on the side. A really good hefty note of vanilla is coming through. More vanilla than brown sugar and caramel. The cherry note is delicious, well-rounded. I think the perfect amount of oak is coming through on this as well. With all of that, this is going to definitely be a sip. And on top of that, not only is it going to be a sip, but I would put this at this moment above the 16. The 16 was definitely in the running for my top whiskey of 2023. And now that I've had this multiple times in the past couple of months, I'm thinking that this is going to outshine the 16 for me. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the Calumets. If you guys have had the 8, the 10, the small batch, the 14, 15, 16, any Calumets. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of it. What order would you guys put these in? And after you guys have left comments, do all those things that YouTubers ask you to do. Like, subscribe, share, turn on that bell notification. I go live with videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Actually, you know what? Once this is over, I'm going to pull out the 16 and do these things side by side again. I think I have to start rethinking my order. So enjoy your journey. We'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.